Hey, yo, Internet, it's Gucci. Gucci Man's new album, Mr. Davis, is out now. Mr. Davis features The Weeknd, ASAP Rocky, Schoolboy Q, Big Sean, Ty Dolla Sign, and more. It also features the singles Love, featuring Nicki Minaj, and Tone It Down, featuring Chris Brown. Order the album now and listen to it on Apple Music, Spotify, Tidal, and Google Play today. Brrr. Let's go, Internet. And now back to the show. Yo, Internets, you are listening to the Combat Jack Show, the Combat Jack Show podcast. I'm your host, Combat Jack. Seven years we've been holding y'all down, man. Seven years in this podcast game. Look at everybody flourishing in this industry right now. Look at y'all. Like, you know what I'm saying? I love it, man. I love to see all y'all out there, you know, creating waves. You know what I'm saying? Making new legends and making new lines. You know what I'm saying? Salute all of y'all. Salute all of y'all, man. I, you know, I just came from A3C, man. And, you know, a lot of people were asking about this podcast space. And a lot of people were like, yo, combat, do you think the space is saturated? I mean, it is saturated if, if you're going to bring the same old bullshit. You know what mm. I'm saying? It is saturated if you're going to have a show, an uh, interview show. That's based on mine, that's based on his, that's based on theirs, that's based on... That's why I shout out to, to Nori and Drink Chance, man, because, I mean, they got another interview show, but they 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 got a whole different thing, man. Listen, you know, um, I said this also at A3C. I feel right now this podcast space, it still reminds me of like where hip-hop was in the late 80s, man. We had all these illustrious names out here, I'm saying, making classic albums, not even knowing what the fuck was going to happen in the 90s. You know what I'm saying? With cats like today's guest, who's gonna mm. take it to the next, 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 boo boo, ba bong, 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 next level. You know what I'm bong, saying? Bong. So, listen, man, you know, like I always say at the end of the show, dream your dreams, man. Don't let these stats and this and that keep you off from coming in this game, man. Just bring your A game, you know what I'm saying? And don't. I seen some of y'all niggas talking flagrant about me. Don't. Mm. Don't. Okay, what's up, King? Twitter. Yeah. Huh? Who's <laughs> talking crazy about nah, you? No, no, nobody's talking Cause, crazy. Cause, but I, because you, what he just said, right? When he was out in Atlanta, uh, and one of the things I admire about this this gentleman is that he's so supportive of the community. Yeah. Right? In a in a in a in a in a in a sense, he doesn't have to. He could be the angry guy. Be like, I don't like none of these the angry guys. old nigga. Ah, yeah, like, I'm trying to do a podcast, but he encourages. If you got the, the spirit to do it and 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 the, and the wherewithal and the, and, and the imagination you know, to just open up this lane, man, we ain't even because it's start. just conversations. We ain't right, even start right, right. making this shit to the next level. I mean, you know, you, you saw what we did with Mogul, mm. and I'm not patting my back in the whole nine, but there's so many dimensions. Like at the end of the day, shout out to the God Star of Saran Barkwal. I remember before Bonk, I jumped into this to this podcast space, mm -hmm. he said to me, "Yo, the greatest thing about audio is that from day one when we was huddled around." you know, uh, fires in the whole nine yeah. and we didn't have no technology we had and we was hunting with spears on the velts, you know what I'm saying? The, the, you know, the luscious motherland mm -hmm. saying it was the, it was the theater of the mind. Yep. And I don't care if, you know, we fact. was back then to now in 2017 where we got, you know what I'm saying? All types of technology and your president talking this and that just bombarding us every, every day, day with that bullshit on that Twitter. You know what I'm saying? But still <laughs> at the end of the day, nothing beats the theater of the mind. So come with your games, you know what I'm saying, come with your A game. Let's bring this level to let's bring this 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 craft, this medium to the next level. But don't, mm. don't. All right, King. What's up, man? Yo, chilling, man. Like just in case a nigga think like that. <laughs> yeah. Don't. Don't. Exactly. Yeah, don't. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, like, in just, case. In case. <laughs> just in case. Just in case. Yo, we here, man. Uh, we just came back from Atlanta. It was yeah. a dope trip. Um, shout out to A3C. Shout out to you know Steve Rifkin. Steve Rifkin. Shout out to shout out to A Track. Yeah, Angela Ra, Angela Ra, Ed Lover, Premium Pete. Premium. <laughs> <laughs> what up, Premium? Yo, shout out to Westside Gun and Conway. Man. Yo, Westside Gun, Benny Conway, Benny, Benny the El Camino. Yes. Who else is the on, that, on that? On that? On that? On that? Uh, the whole Griselda, the whole Griselda records. Griselda Yo, joint. I was showcased. Do we have? We have video of that, right? Yeah, we do. We just we trying to obtain the entire footage from the videographer. Yo, coming soon. It. Hopefully, yeah. by the time this episode comes out, man, we'll have, we'll, we'll have the video. Fire. I swear, listen, man, I've been in this game since eighty. Nine, right motherfuckers like yo come to this showcase this <laughs> showcase that i'm like showcase these nuts 
I barely go to a showcase where my mind is blown. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I might be a little partial. Am I partial, King? No, like this I, is I this think is a, fair. I think because when you do go, you do have a certain expectation. Yeah, I don't have no expectation. And being, and being that you've been, I have in the game, no expectation. You have no, okay, you know, but being that it's you've just been rookies. In, but you've been in the game for so long, that you can, yeah. you 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 have a certain temperature as to, as to what you know moves you. Yeah, you know and. Yo. As I always say, like I was, I was thoroughly uh, happy that you enjoyed yourself. Well, yeah. I came in late. I didn't see the opening opening acts, right? But I came in. I saw um, the young lady. She from Brooklyn. Yeah, uh, Coco, Coco Sarai. Yeah. Oh my God! Fire! Like yeah. internet. I don't know if y'all up on Coco Sarai. Oh my God! Yeah, such a talent. Yeah. And then your man Sha uh, Summers. Shaw Summers. Fire. Shaw's. Oh my God! That motherfucker is a star. Yes, he is. Yo, he's a star. Mm. And then you know Humble. UFO Feev. You, Yo, UFO, I got to have a one-on-one with you, man, because I ain't like the way you was harassing my team <laughs> with the middle fingers when you hit Atlanta like a diva, my man. You know what I'm saying? You was you, you was acting up, but when I saw you perform, I was like, this nigga, all right, because, yo, me and Mika was like, if this nigga's trash, if you was trash, you would get the slanders. But, my man, nah, you came ripped. You, you ripped. 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 Shout out to UFO Feeb. He's doing it on the internet. So hold on. So hold on. Hold on. So these are all dope MCs. Yes. That, just, yeah. that you went to AC3. And then, and then King. Yeah, so, a King you, produced you, it. So we, we yeah, you right. knew we about it. You, you knew about it already. Yeah, I knew about it. I, 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 I watching them. Well, he, I think he, he I, knew about Westside Gunna Conway. You knew what you knew. But you no, didn't I don't know. 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 I filled out the rest of the. I said, all right, who's worthy of being on this bill? That's dope. And. It worked out, you bum, know. Bum. It was dope. And then when the Griselda boys came oh, out, it was, oh, oh, and uh, I, shout out to Soul Group Universe. Oh, Soul Queens. Group Universe. Wait, 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 wait. One more time, man. Salute. Soul Group Universe was, grew from Queens. That's my favorite. Drove out from right Queens now. to Atlanta. Yes. They hit the stage. They had kind of like the, the the pen game was on some locks slash dip queen, set but queen, type with the, Queens. With Queens pen. You know? And it was fucked up because all throughout their performance, I their know. microphones did not work. <laughs> so there was mad times. Uh, shout there out was, to There was mad nah, times that, that these that. niggas was... These niggas was uh-huh. rhyming and, and nobody heard, uh, but they was shit. giving so much heart and stop. everybody they else that came on the stage before them was so dope right. that nobody heard them. And 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 who was the dude that was in your ear? The, the co-manager. The co-manager. Uh, you know, he he, he gave me a ton. Now this is the thing about doing events like this, which is I, I'm not too keen on doing them again. I don't know if I'm, you know, but <laughs> you know, he kind of got a little uh, feisty. Cause and, right, and right, rightfully right. so they drove fourteen hours. He got more than feisty, Yo, and this is their fuck shot. Fuck and, 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 and I thought I thought it was gonna ring out, b. And they're and they're bubbling, so it's like right, right. they're A three C and it's our shit. So right. they expect that te- that technical shit to be de- dealt well, with. Well, by, all the buck stops, even though I had nothing right, to do right, with but it. But the buck stops with you, right? Ultimately, yes. and I got to right, take right. that. That's what any and that gave me a whole new appreciation for other curators and stuff like that. However, 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 the problem is this. There's people in the audience Speak. that's around that might have a vested interest in Your my safety. journey and my safety. And if they see certain things happening, right, right, right. they're like, Atlanta. whoa, 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 whoa. We don't care about no flags. It's ATL. You see what we're seeing. What's up? Right. So, nah, it's cool. The other homie is my brother. It's all right, good. Right. He just, he Shout out to Vok. Vok. Shout out to right. Vok. He don't know me. It's the other dude. So it's all love. And he has a right. You know what I mean? Right, right. Because he's watching his artists. Yeah. And they, they, they're fucking the dope. The Soul stick. Group Universe. Dope. Look yeah. him up if you haven't heard about him or whatever. It's fucking dope. But and then, then Griselda, them man. Griselda boys, man. You up on you up on um on West Side and Conway? Nah, man. You what? Nah, I'm not. Math is up on it. I'm not Yo, up on it. these niggas is next level, B. Like next level. As a matter of fact, I mean, just they got them. they got they kind of got yeah, your yeah. DNA. Yeah, okay. they got your right. Yeah, they got your DNA. No, no, Buffalo, they from Buffalo. Oh, they from Buffalo. They from Buffalo. Yeah, they from Buffalo. But yo, so bet, and Eminem just grabbed them up. Eminem yeah. just yeah, shady. Shout out to them. Shit. Yo, right. first and foremost, right. man, like we, you know, we always been ahead of the wave. We've been carrying that um, West Side Gun Conway flag for the past two and a half years. Yo, I'm gonna tell you right now, right now. There is no crew that's fucking with these niggas. As a mm. matter of fact, I just seen today, earlier today, they did the, the BET Cypher. You saw but it? BET didn't, they didn't air it, so yo, I saw it on the oh, video. But that's a fa- yo, you know, let me tell you what they did too, real quick, before we jump in the interview. Yeah, um, jump. So they've been promoting the Cyphers, right? Yeah. And Shady signed this other kid from, the, from Compton. Oh, um, he's dope. He, he boogie. Perform- boogie. So his Instagram, Twitter is d- WS underscore Boogie. I know this is probably tit for tat, but when they posted the Griselda Shady Records Cypher, and they added everybody. They just hashtag his name. I'm like, well, how hard is it to just do a, a, a search? Right. The name is there. He's on Interscope. Like, how do you not? 
Hit the button. Yo, BT. That dude. BT. We they, love getting bags from you. But come you know what I'm on. saying? We're going to keep the relationship Step open, man. But you know what I'm saying? We all in this community together. Research. Come on, man. Let's do this. Yo, let's jump into this episode, man. Bon, this bon. is the second time. No, so it's good. Man. This is, we in it. I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm learning. <laughs> you know, I've been, I be up in the mountains, so I don't mm. really be up in tune. The mountains in the United States or the mountains in, in Asia? The mountains in the United States. Okay. <laughs> okay. Wait, wait. Let me give you the, the, the formal. Formal welcome to the Combat Jack Show. This man, this is his second time on this show, and he brought his colleague. Without further ado, the legend, mm. you know what I'm saying, the head of this shit that, that raised a lot of us back in the 90s, Mr. Rizza, Peace. Professor Rizza, Dr. Rizza, bong, bong, Teacher Rizza, bong, bong. you know what I'm saying, and Mathematics. DJ Mathematics? Mathematics. Welcome to the Combat Jack Show, y'all. Yes, sir. Bong, How y'all bong. feeling, man? You're feeling good. <laughs> yeah, great. Yo, yes, um, y'all have a new album. Yeah. Uh, Wu-Tang. The saga continues. Yeah, the saga does continue. I, I listened to it today. Bong bong. Um, mathematics. You produced. Yeah. The 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 full album. Yeah, the full album. Yo, how like wh- how did y'all put this shit together? Because <laughs> like Rizzy and you, wh- what was your role in this? I'm the executive producer. Okay. Mm. <laughs> okay. So what was, the what EP. That, what's that mean, sir? Executive producer. That means I'm an executive. Okay. <laughs> so are you like? Are you like? I need some of this. I need some of that. No, no, no. Math, math, press the buttons. You know what I mean? Um, and when he got it to a point, he wanted to bring it to the Abbott so the Abbott could, could you know, just, you know, oh, yeah, it. yeah, kind of just, yeah, add right. some notes to it. Be like, yo, hold on. You know, listen to song one, banging, don't do nothing. Song two, okay, maybe put a little salt on that one. Song three, a little too much pepper, but you know what? They're going to like it. in there? Yeah, that kind of thing. You yeah. know what I mean? I'm like the, the head chef. <laughs> just looking at the pot, but Math sat there and and constructed this. He had a vision. He put years and time into it. And when I when I first got a dose of what it was, you know, because he, you know, after we did a better tomorrow, I was like, you know, you know, hearing, hearing some of my brothers complaining about where where my creativity was going, which was th- was more on a broad grown man level. Don't you get tired of that, man? Nah, it's all good. But I mean, no, I'm saying though, like like as much as you've raised the flag. You know what I'm saying? And, right. and people don't understand when you start broadening your views to different realms. You know yeah, I don't saying? get different, tired of it because I'm in different type... chambers and they like, yo, Rizza. Uh. You know, it's like you just said, yo, you know, when you when I'm doing what I'm doing, I'm doing what I'm doing. Right. Mm-hmm. You may figure me out a years later, 10 years later. You know what I mean? I, I had one of my lyrics. I was like, yo, when I talk, uh, no telling what you might hear. When I speak, you may hear, I may say something right now. And you hear something totally different than what he hears. It's not in my head right now, and then... because the words of wisdom is still a magnet to the ear. Mm. So, so, so when I do what I do, I don't worry too much about the critics no more. Mm-hmm. And I, I never did That's in my whole man. life. And so, so if when I go back and check my history, like when I did a diagram and I was bringing in weird guitar sounds, and it was like, yo, I don't know where's on that guitar shit. Next thing you know. You see, a year later, Wayne got his guitar on stage. Mm-hmm. Jay-Z got his guitar mm-hmm. on stage. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I see your head. So, so I don't worry about that. And even one of the coolest things that happened, I'll, we get back to the saga, but uh, when 444 came out, mm. I think Jamel Arif, the high chief master killer, was one of the first Wu members to hear it. It took me about a week to get a hold of it mm-hmm. because I was already zoned on my movie joint. But he had came came to my crib and was like, yo, I heard that 444. And yo, I got to say, Jay did his thing. I really appreciate it. And so you know what, God? I got to say that when you wanted to do a better tomorrow, it's like you was on that grown man shit. He did that. Mm-hmm. And we didn't see it at that time. Mm. You know what I mean? He said if we would have saw it collectively, it would have been that vision that you wanted. Mm. But we didn't see it collectively. And so that, so that happens. You know what I mean? And so, so, so sometimes it's just your duty you know what I mean? To 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 bring down the scrolls. And when Moses came down from the mountain, mm. he had the Ten Commandments. But them people, he 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 had a, he split an ocean for them, right? He split the Red Sea. Mm-hmm. They cross over. Everybody, ah, yeah. So when he go up to the mountain, niggas build the golden cow on them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, what I mean? he just he split the sea for you. What the fuck you. is this golden <laughs> bought, shit? Let him yeah. out of yeah. persecution he, and slavery. Yeah, he come back down. <laughs> he like, I right, I got the tablets. You know what I mean? They get the tablets, they still go savage for 40 more years. Mm-hmm. So much that the father said, yo, you know what? I'm going to let the kids get this, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, because y'all don't get it right mm-hmm. now. So that happens in life. But but what math did for me, though, also, 
was he brought some music to me that he was creating. Because after that album, I said, yo, maybe you could do the next Wu album. Because he already was on a chamber that I saw was in that classic realm. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he just probably dismissed it. But he just did his own thing and came back when he had about five songs. And not thinking that he's doing a Wu album, just doing music. Mm -hmm. the, the, the biggest lesson I could give any producer or MC out there is, yo, just do you. You know what I mean? It's like a painting. Picasso didn't know that his painting was going to be worth ten million dollars. Mm -hmm. He just painted, son. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mozart just couldn't help but write in his composing. Mm -hmm. So just do it, and that's what he did. He just did it. And when I heard it, I was like, "Yo, that's woo shit. That's that crack right there." You, I mean, I, I was I'm, I'm I'm cooking space age dope. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's you flo you crack. Around. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And 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 um and uh and. From there, he just kept building, and I, I passed the mic to him on that. Hey, yo, internets. Support for this week's episode of the Combat Jack Show also comes from HelloFresh. HelloFresh is on a mission to save home cooking because it's just too good to go away. Think of HelloFresh as a farm-to-box company because they want everyone to have access to fresh ingredients that inspire great meals. HelloFresh is the meal kit delivery service that makes cooking more fun so you can focus on the whole experience, not just the final plate. Each week, HelloFresh creates new delicious recipes with step-by-step -step instructions designed to take around 30 minutes for everyone from novices to seasoned home cooks short on time and all for less than $10 a meal. Internets, y'all know what $10 a meal costs. This is less than $10 a meal. HelloFresh sources the freshest ingredients measured to exact quantities needed so that there's no food waste. Also, HelloFresh employs two full-time registered dietitians on staff who review every recipe to ensure that they are nutritionally balanced. Every delivery comes right to your doorstep in a recyclable, insulated box for free. And now, HelloFresh is offering light spring meals and has just introduced breakfast options. Yo, I fucks with HelloFresh. They drop that shit off to my house. I love the boxes. I like the little ice that comes in it. keeps it every fresh. And you know what I'm saying? It's healthy. It's healthy. At the end of the day, man, all you have is health. Health is wealth. So listen, internet, join the mission to save home cooking today and get $30 off your first week of deliveries by visiting HelloFresh.com and entering Combat30 when you subscribe. That's HelloFresh.com, code C-O-M-B-A-T-3-0 when you subscribe to HelloFresh. Delicious ingredients you love to eat, simple recipes you'll live to cook. Get cooking with HelloFresh and back to the show. Yo, Math, man, a whole Wu-Tang album, man. How does this feel for you, man? Uh, I feel great. Yeah. But, but And just like how the God said, like even when he first brought it to me, it's like, I, you know, as far as doing a Wu album, it, it's like, you know, God to tell you, I was like, I don't know about that. Were you intimidated by the legacy of the Wu? Well, um, not making the album because, like, like when he first brought it to my attention, yeah, because it was like, yeah, that that that's it's a high bar set. But then, you know, like, and, and I seen what the God was doing with a better tomorrow. You know, you know, from a producer aspect, I seen what the God was doing. But the whole thing is, you have to have everybody to buy into it as well. You mean see, the members? Yeah, you. Everybody has to see your vision, right? To 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 do that. To, you know, like like the God said, but um, um, you know, so after better tomorrow, like yeah, I went to work and and, and it's like me personally, I, I I was just on a mission, as far as like um, you know, musically, I felt like I wanted to do something, you know, like like really true to me. That that that's where it started at, and I you know I was like you know what, you know I, I'm gonna start a project, and, and I went into the lab, and I just listened to two albums. You know, I listened to the 36 Chambers mm. album, Front to the End. I listened to um, Chronic 2001, mm. same way. That's a good one. And, and I just, I, I just. Why those, look, I understand, yeah. I understand the 36 Chambers, <laughs> but the the, the, the chronic, chronic is such a whole different chamber. Why did yeah. you go that direction? Because of the sonics of that album. Mm. Yeah. You know what I mean? It, it's like, 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 um, you know, and they're both complete albums from beginning to end. And they're both actually two different time periods, but both of them still, to this day, it is mm -hmm. undeniable. You can't move them out the way. Yeah, undeniable. So, so you know, like I felt like that that, that those two was the only foods that I needed to eat musically. And I listened, I studied each song. I really listened to it like I ain't listened to them before. Mm. Um, Your baby is. Yeah, I was saying, I, I was saying everything. Little baby ears. I was, I was, <laughs> baby ears. <laughs> how, 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 how long did it take to uh, to complete the album? Factoring well, in getting the whole crew together. Yeah, and, and once, well, well, once I listened to both of them, 
I, I completely shut away from music. Mm. That was it. It was like I, I wasn't listening to nothing else but what I was making at right. that point. You know? and, and when Math started, you know, the, when he first came with the music, like he came and played me music, right? And it wasn't this, you know, it wasn't like like he said, "Yo, the, that Wu Tang album, I'm doing it." No, he just had music, right. and it, and and it really, it was kind of sounded like it could have been a Meth album. Mm-hmm. Him and Meth was on the road, mm-hmm. and it was like, "Yo, you know, he you know, maybe the, you know he had a project he had in mind, you know." Me and Meth gonna do a whole project, but I'm listening to him like, yo, but yo, yo, it mm. sounds like whoa, like you, you, whatever you're doing, whatever frequency that he's in, it sounds like whoa. And so, you know, he just went back to work and didn't even think about it or what or what it's gonna be. You know what I mean? But in the beginning, you probably thought it was gonna be uh, Method Man's album, right? Because Meth was the most the MC that was there a lot. Yeah, but in the beginning, originally, yeah, originally, I was doing it. As a mathematics, part, okay. Originally, I can put like. Yeah, but, let me show. Off, it's like a producer. Let me show. Album. Let me show what yeah, a producer yeah, could right, do. But right. then, yeah, but being on the road with Meth and Meth was like, yo, oh, you know, he gravitated right to it. So and, and it was a no brainer. Let, let's go in the studio. Let's, let's do this. Let's you know what I mean. So Meth and Meth was hearing it. And Meth was coming with them blades. So then it was like after that, it was just like, um, you know, we was on the road. I know we was overseas. Um, got booked a studio session. Ghost Brothers was coming through, Ghost Jezza, um, you know, Cap Street. We went in there, did some work too. And it, and it was like, um, that, that was one thing. The music to me was the most important thing because that had to hit. Because I wanted it to be like, like you know, when a brother heard it, he was like, oh, yeah, I got it. Let me get on this. Let me yeah. murder that. You know, what I, what I love about this album, man, is you hear the collective. You hear the collective. And well, we've heard the stories about some of, some of the past albums. It was really like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like like you had to bust down doors yeah, to get everybody yeah. to, you know, to, yeah, it's like herding cats. Was was it, was it you, y'all didn't have the problem this time? No, nah, I didn't have it. You know, I mean, you know, it's like the only thing that was really a problem sometimes might have been like scheduling because everybody's doing certain things. So, um, but but as far as like, you know, like, like I said, it was you had to catch the brothers with the track. So once they heard it, 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 wasn't, it wasn't a problem. I got yeah, the, you. The music, you know, the music has an attraction power. And the frequency, like what Mav did, I, I, you know, I know, I know what he did because we talked about it. You know, running the music he created back through the ASR, mm. yeah. you know what I mean? It gave it a frequency, you know what I mean? And so when, and the Wu is so familiar and at home with that. The Cream came out of an ASR, mm. you know what I mean? Method Man came out of ASR. Incarcerated Scarface came out of mm. ASR. Ice Cream came out of ASR. So, so that frequency, was is, is they is familiar with them and for me I forgot about it so when I'm even when I when he played the tracks to me I was like mm, let me I'm gonna eat that up real quick <laughs> you know what I mean let me jump on so so that so that energy when he it's the music that moved that moved us instead of like uh, sometimes having an idea and I come to the studio like like on a better tomorrow there's a song called the uh, mistaken identity of which I had the idea I had the song I felt so many black brothers was locked up in jail. Who don't belong there? You know, we got From homies. We got one. we got homies that call us all the time, sitting there for twenty five. Son, we know he didn't do. It. We know who did it. We Damn. told. We didn't tell, but yeah. you know, we didn't tell like we snitched. But it was like it was it was it was you know it's known. But my man sitting there for twenty five years. So anyway, it's like so mistaken identity was important to me, and we did the song, but no, but it wasn't done as if like everybody wanted to do it. It was more like. Uh, I'll do that for you, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. not because I want to do it. Right. And in math situation, there was no boundary to what to do. It just was like, you hear that track? Yo, let me get on that, son. And that and that caused a different kind of motivation. And like I said, and it was good for me as a as a um, as a producer and as an MC to kind of you know also be a part of that instead of you know being attached or being caught up in my own uh, my own cipher. Being able to go, yo, nah, God, that sound, yeah, that's bong bong right there. Let's let that live. You know what I mean? Yeah. Let me let me put on my executive hat on this yeah, one and yeah, sit yeah. back and let you go ahead and drive. And shit. I'll be waiting at the building. <laughs> <get me there. laughs> yeah, I'm gonna tell you, man. I was listening to the album. I got an early copy. Um, thanks to your peoples, and I, you know, was putting the questions together. So I was playing it in the background, and I heard this voice that I never even conceived of hearing on the Wu Project. I was like, yo, who who the fuck is this? He sounds mm. so perfect. With the woo, and I, I, I stepped back, and it was Sean Price, mm-hmm. the late great Sean Price. How did how did how did y'all incorporate 
Trump, it's the, the track Pearl Harbor. Pearl Harbor. How did y'all yeah. have the, the the vision to incorporate the God on on this on this track, man? Uh, Sean Price was my dude, you know, and, and it's like um, shout out. I, I yeah, miss that dude, piece. man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like um, he was the very first guest. Okay. Oh, wow. Combat right. Jack Show. Yeah, That's seven fine. years ago, man. Wow. Yes, yeah, yeah. Sean Price was my dude, and, 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 and it's like I was, you know, I'm a fan of hip hop, you know, and I always thought he was an LMC. And um, I remember, like, um, we did a show. We was overseas, and um, you know, he was backstage kicking it. He was like, "Yo, we got, we got to do something. We got to get in here, do Ooh. something for real." I was like, Yo, "I can I'm, imagine." I'm with you. Right. I'm with you. So, so that was a spark right there. It was a little bit time after that, but we made it happen. You know, you know what's crazy? That you know, I'm gonna add on to that. When uh, you no know, Master Killer got an album out right now. For those who don't know, called Royalty is Loyalty, mm. right? I heard and, about that. Nah, it's, it's a it's a great album. He did a great job on it, yo. And he also has a Sean Price verse on it. Mm. And and I asked him, you know what I mean? Um, because I heard Mathematics song already, right? And so I'm like, yo, wait, do y'all guys got the same verse? What's going on, right? Because I I didn't know the verse yet. <clears throat> but then I listened. To, oh, oh wait, no, it's two different verses. How do you both of y'all get a verse? And and. It would be better if Jamel told this story, but he told it to me, so I'm going to give it to you the best I know it. Mm-hmm. He said, nah, God, Sean just showed up in my session and was like, yo, I got to give you something. You know what I mean? So that gave me the inspiration to, to just assume that Sean was like, yo, he was just giving gifts. Yo. Mm-hmm. Whatever he knew, whatever he felt, he just was giving gifts. You know what I mean? And, and one of those gifts ended up on loyalty is royalty which is a great title, which is real, because loyalty is royalty. Mm-hmm. And another one ends up on Wu-Tang, the saga continues, you know what I mean? And that's 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 kind of pockish in a way, mm-hmm. Yeah, you know what I mean? Very much so, and he didn't wow. even know. He didn't even know that, yeah. that, that his, his words would manifest it's in like the I, physical in the physical on this on this album. Yeah, because it's like, um, when last time I seen him, he was in Amsterdam, as a matter of fact, and um, it was at the, um, the Milk Wag, that, that's the name of that spot? I don't, I don't recall the, the names out there. You're yeah, out there but it's, a, it's one of them spots. I know we always go. Yeah. I know we always go yeah. there. And um, the fights in that joint. You know, yeah, all that yeah. Shit. yeah. Y'all, y'all be fi- y'all be fighting on. Well, this y'all be back fighting. In the night. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm like, let me find out. We are right now. The yeah. world star. <laughs> oh, world star. Hold on. World star would have loved yo the Wu tour back in the day, son. They would have had a whole TV series off that. We we gotta get back to that, man. But anyway, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. So so they, you know, it was we was on tour and we had a night off, but um. It was, um, I think it was who was performing. It might have been uh, like like uh, Smith and Wesson and and um, you know Rock and Rock and I, um, yeah, I think it was the whole boot camp clique. And, and I remember we went through the show. We went, you know, just to go check them. And um, yeah, I, I talked. I was talking to him then. And I was like, yo, you know, I was letting him know. Yeah, I, I want you to hear it, you know, because I want to. Hit, I wanted him to hear how it had progressed from that time. Because even when I first started, like. It, it went through each song went through a, a process because it's like I once I got all the vocals and even like hooks or if I didn't get a hook you know I figured things out I added instruments took things out so by the time it was finished I really wanted him to hear it right um that particular song mm. at, at this point it wasn't finished right but it was still it, it, it was it was close yeah it was close it was real nice and I was like yeah yeah I got something for you uh, I was like you're gonna love it when you hear this. And um, he never got a chance. To Damn, hear it, you know what I mean? that's crazy. So, yeah, that's crazy. All right. and, and y'all, and y'all, an, an, another. You know, what I'm saying another person that's not in the physical man is I got Asan. Yeah, old Asan, unique yeah. old dirty old bastard dirty man. Bass, I want to read his lyric, man. It says they're trying to pit blacks against whites, but it, it ain't gonna work because we all having a good time in this, which is so re- relevant today, man. Because you got all of this division, and you know, what I'm saying I, I even hear like the Russians are like playing with. Having the United States so divided, so that you know they could continue to do what they continue to do since the USSR. I don't even want to get into that, bro. But <laughs> when was that lyric written? Because that shit is so timely in 2017. How long is how long has ODB been that gone? Was like Twenty years ago. Wow. That's Twenty. That's that like that. That was from a show we did like 20 years ago. What made you pull up that and, that that vocal, man? And, and when I pulled pulled this up, none of this was happening at the time, and and it was just like when I heard it because he was like, he's like, yo. He was like, yo, teach this to the babies. Mm. You know, that's what caught me. 
and, and he had it was just a positive message. And then like how I was dealing with the music and, and his, his his music, I want everybody to enjoy this. And, and he said, I'm gonna tell you, they're gonna put pit black against white. He told you this. Yeah, he he was saying twenty that. something years ago. Yeah, and it's how how, right how the now. fuck, man? Yeah, yeah. And and the reason why I asked you is because you know, old dirty, I think out of the entire Wu Collective, is probably the most misunderstood. So tell us about the man and his foresight and and the wisdom that he brought to to even be able to foretell this man. Right. Oh, a yeah, Asan, yeah, you know, Asan definitely is a scientist. Mm. You know, I mean, I was yeah, right because he is a scientist because you, we'll keep unraveling more and more and more about him as you live more and more. You know what I mean? And to think that you know, you know, he his, his some of his words are prophetic. You know, he told us, like, okay, he's like, yo, the FBI is watching me. And everybody's like, now nah, you bugging, son. Why Why are they watching you? Yeah, what are they going to watch us for? We just a bunch of homies from the hood. Oh, the collective. Watching no, me. no, but watching him. Right, okay. And and he was like, yo, I'm telling you, God. No, fuck that. <laughs> and I was like, now you bugging. You know what I mean? You just leave that shit alone. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, you, you But yo. Yeah. Why well, come when he after he returned to the essence? You find out, yep. They put out the whole fucking pages. They've been watching them. Yeah, pages upon pages. You see what I mean? So, so he had foresight, yo. You know what I mean? And 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 when you hear him saying what he's saying, you know, an artist channels energy and life. Time is only linear to the physical, but it's not linear to the mental. And so, whatever dimensions. Wait, wait, you got to say that again. Mike. Time is linear mm-hmm. for your physical body because you got to pass through mm-hmm. physical time. Mm-hmm. Like right now, if you want to say Pluto is 3 billion, 680 million miles away from the sun, right? But yet you can look up in the sky and see it instantaneously. But your body will never get there. Mm. They ain't got no spaceship that move that fast right, yet. Right. So time is linear to the physical, but to the mental, there's no time barrier. Right. So... A person who's in tune like that, you know, any prophet, you know, you read Revelation, they're telling you things that ha- 2,000 years ago, he's telling you things that's happening now. So anybody who's in tune like that is, is able to already mentally have the picture because he has this understanding and he's able to verbally express it. And that's what Asan did multiple times. If you go back and check his, his resume, you'll see that. And you also will see other artists do it as well. Some do it blindly. When you do it blindly, though, that's another chamber. You know what I mean? We talked about this earlier, and I'm going to get too, too metaphysical. No, I get too metaphysical, B. That's well, what we're doing. Well, name, one, name, name, name my, one of our greatest hip-hoppers from, from New York. I mean, Jay-Z, Biggie. Okay, Jay-Z is still here, right? Oh, Biggie. But, but Biggie is yeah. gone. But what, is, what was the name of his album? Ready to Die. You know what I mean? Not like that, but... What's the, what's the name of the Wu Tang guy when it came out after 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 he passed? Uh, what was the name of the second album? Second Wu Tang album. The one with I, Triumph on it. Triumph. Right? Yeah. Tri- it's it called Wu Tang Forever. Wu Tang Forever. Wu Tang Forever. Right, right, right. Okay. We, we named that consciously. You know what I mean? We like yo, nah, nah. We hold on. Words are powerful. Yeah. Words are science, man. You know what I mean? I be telling people, man. I be telling people how they talk. It's, it's powerful. Determine bro. how you live, man. Powerful. That shit that yo, what you say creates that shit in reality, man. Like, yes. listen, internet. Yeah. Seriously, man. How, watch how you think, man. Like, there's this movie I saw a couple of years ago called What the Bleep Do We Know? Yeah, I seen and, that. And one. You seen that, right? Yeah. And there's this particular uh scene where this chick, the main actress, she she always has these negative thoughts in her head as she's washing her face, brushing her teeth in the morning to get out. So she goes to this exhibit and they talk about how energy. Like the biggest conductor of energy is water. And we're made up like 80% water. water the yeah. universe is 80% water. And she's washing her face and she got these negative thoughts in her head. And when it hit her, she's like, yo, this is why I'm fucked up because of how I'm thinking, because of the en- energy that I'm transmitting. And I always thought that, man, like yeah. looking at Pac, you know what I'm saying? And, and looking at Big particularly, and they had all that deaf, deaf, deaf shit. And then listening to Jay when Jay was the least likely to succeed, but Jay always came out like, 
He's, I'm he's the best about, and I'm the richest. Yeah, he's rapping about riches and he becomes that. And then yeah. looking at him make that a reality through his words. 50 Cent said, I'm going to get rich or die trying. He it's, got rich. He got rich. And he, and he, and he, 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 almost, he tried to die. He, <laughs> yeah, definitely, yeah. he tried to die, man. He said as well, bro. Yeah, but, but yeah, man, seriously, that's a gem that I always have to remind myself, man. Watch how you think. Watch how you talk, man. Yo, yo, mathematics, man. I'm kind of honored to sit with you, man, because like, this is really the first time I'm really jumping into your body of work. But yo, can, first of all, we all everybody in this room, can we can we give this man a round of applause? Because I'm just finding out that you were the person that created the Wu symbol. You created the bang, Wu symbol, yeah. the most important symbol ever. ever, especially in this rap genre. How the fuck did you do this? And how, how how's, how's it not posters of you all over the place, my <laughs> nigga? How you not being carried on thrones and shit, my man? man? You know, it's crazy, though. It's like, um, you know, I did graffiti. So, so for me, it's like, even like, I, I don't think it really hit me until we was on the 20th anniversary mm. tour. And when I came out and I seen the W up there real big mm. and how the crowd was, and I was looking at the W like, oh, shit. Like, yo, I did that shit. Right. It, you know, it ain't really hit me. It still ain't really hit me. I think, like, it hits me <laughs> in, in moments. Mm. You know what I mean? But but it was something, you know, me and the guard talked about for a minute. And, um, okay. you know, for, for me, it just came through, like I said, the graffiti we talked about it. We built on it. The guy gave me his input, what he needed. Um, well, like, like, talk. No, hold on, hold on. Well, be, well, be more specific. Well, well, like, well, like you, this. you have I, to create the W. Yeah, well, I you did, have to create a W. I did. I did the um, first. Yeah. It started from the started from, yeah, from the stickers. From the, yeah, sticker. So we had a sticker that said first it was Wu Tang, right? That's and he 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 drew that piece Wu Tang. What was the color scheme? Black and gold. Okay, why the gold? Black and gold because of the holy the the universal, universal flag. flag. Okay. It's black and gold. Okay. You know what I mean? So we got knowledge of ourselves. You know what I mean? Um, there's a lot of math behind it now. Okay? Listen, everybody's so, a student right now. All right, now. so there's a lot of math behind it. So, so it was the Wu-Tang, and that was beautiful already, right? It had a sword. It had a cloud. It had other things on it, the Tommy Boy thing on it. There's a sticker. There was a sticker. And this before Wu-Tang was even, was even a band. This is like me thinking, like, I want to make Wu-Tang. And and I wanted and I wanted and I wanted Tommy Boy to come and be a part of. It. They didn't want they they let it go, right? But anyway, but then um, we said, yo, let's do one with the with with the uh, uh, I want a man carrying a, a head, a head, yeah. right? So first, so first it was a W. So he did the W. I don't think that would have worked out. No, 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 no. There's a picture of it because okay. yo, remember we were doing chop heads off. Okay. Which y'all did, <laughs> right? Yeah. And so it was a W <laughs> with a holding the head. The hand came out the W. The hand came out holding the head. The but then, head. Uh, so now nah, I just needed the W, and he and he went home and and one day, but you know, but I, I didn't know yeah. what you said until like earlier today because I didn't know Last was on it and um yeah I, like, I, like I had Gano I, I had Gano on it. Gano was another graffiti guy. Mm -hmm. Oh, so um, you had different you you had commissioned different artists. To come basically, up with a symbol. Yeah. Basically, so you didn't even know you was in a contest. Nah, I didn't know I was nah, in a okay. contest. Yeah. But, which was probably, which is good because yeah. you know what I mean. No you know, pressure, just creativity. You know, it just on the you know, I don't got to talk about the economic side of it because it, basically I put up half my rent money for this. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I needed the logo, but with math. Where, where was you living at the time? Uh, Two thirty four. Morning Star, Star Road. Road. Okay. I remember, I remember Morning Star Road. <laughs> but anyway, math. Is that 234? Yeah, 234 oh, okay. Morning Star Road. But math came. There's a lot of math in, in, in that address. Yeah, it is a lot God of math. Damn. <laughs> it's like yo, the rap Twilight Zone right now. Yeah, it's on the whole reality. <laughs> Look, when he came with the W, though, right? When he, when he, you know, we went to your job. Yeah, because he called me the day before. Right. It was like, yo, I'm putting up these rec records tomorrow. I need, I, I need, need it. it. Yeah. I need wow. it. So, yeah, and at the time, yeah, I was working. I was doing carpentry. I'm, mm -hmm. you know, by. Are oh, you nice with your hands, son? Yeah, yeah. You <laughs> know, my pops is a carpenter. Okay. So, nice. so when he okay. seen I wasn't, you know, I was into my bullshit, whatever, he was like, you know what, come with me. Mm. He took me to work. Yeah. And I was going to quit. The first two weeks, I only stayed just because. I, nigga, I remember you had your back aches. Oh yeah, but that was later. <laughs> but, but this was <laughs> lifting oh, the oh, planks. Oh, this was this when I first planks? got. This when oh, I first oh, got, got in. There. It was good. Okay. Yeah, the, like I was going to quit after the, you know the, after it's the first work. two weeks. I was like, yeah, I don't like this shit. I don't want. <laughs> Pops, you got that. Yeah, but then I got that first paycheck. Mm. I was like, I could deal with this. this. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> not but, even knowing that you about to not necessarily. But, say but that was years later. Right, though. right. 
Hey, yo, internet, Gucci Mane's glow up has been undeniable this year. I'm still about to cop that book. But anyway, the man they call a machine is getting ready to tie the knot to fiance Keisha Kayor and is about to drop his second album of the year, Mr. Davis. Guap's new project features The Weeknd, ASAP Rocky, Schoolboy Q, Big Sean, Ty Dolla Sign, and Ray Shrimmett's Slim Jimmy. Slim Jimmy, internets, no other than fucking Slim Jimmy, one of the greatest songwriters out today. This album also features Gucci's single Love, featuring Nicki Minaj, and Tone It Down, featuring Chris Brown. Order the album now and listen to it on Apple Music, Spotify, Tidal, and Google Play today. Brrr. But do you okay. understand how the Wu Tang symbol It's universal. Beyond the merch. I've seen it on It's Hello, like a hieroglyphic. Hello Kitty, <laughs> Yo, I, the Hello Kitty yeah. version. When my of the daughter Wu. was four years old, she had the Wu shirt. And that's why I'm saying that decapitated head would have worked. She had the Wu. Oh, yeah, and yeah, so yeah, she will worked. always be loyal to the Wu. You go to China, you go to in, in Middle East, Zimbabwe, here, any everywhere across the planet. There's a kid or an a old head or whatever wearing a woo shirt, hat, all races. something. But I will say when he got the when he got the they, final they that no, Russia. No, when he got the final inspiration for the W, and he made the W. And he came to the job. You know what I mean, yep. And and we, you know, we if you, if you ever see the first rendition of it on a single protect your neck, what do you see? You see the W on top of a book, mm. but under the book you see the sword. And the idea was like, yo, we could do it with the book, hmm. the wisdom, or we could do it with the sword. Hmm. You know what I mean? So, so you know, there was something that his name was Mathematics. You know what I mean? And, and God body. Yeah. Yeah. And 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 you know, you know, the, when the father wanted to design his flag, he went and got Universal Sham God, and that brother sat there and designed something that represented the sun, moon, star with the seven and the crescent moon in it. You know what I mean? And and even though I had all the people looking to do this, you know what I mean, it took the God body to do it. You know what I mean? And and that W, you know what I mean, instead of writing the word out Wu Tang, it became that W and we put Wu Tang in the middle of it. You know what I mean? Because that W is like that's it. Yeah, that's it's it. That's it. that symbol. Say no more. Yeah, yeah. I, remember, I remember when they came and got it. Like, like it was RZA, Ghost, Power, and Divine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They came stomping through on the job site. <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck your job. <laughs> or, or it's, it's like, that's how I knew they was dead. Because, you know, I'm working. And then I just see, you know, dudes of, like the older men. Because I'm like the youngest dude on yeah. the job, too. They all like turning like... Like so, I'm like, what's going on over here? I said, oh, it's the guard. So I was like, all right, let me go get get it. I brought it to the guard. I remember they all looking at it. Yeah. God looked at it. They looked and said, "Yeah, this is it." Right. Yo, man, you way too That's humble crazy. for this for this accomplishment, man. <laughs> it's like yeah. the nigga that invented the shoe. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If the nigga that invented the shoe was in this room, oh. I would want that nigga to pop his pop collar. That's one of the greatest inventions of all. The nigga that invented bread. <laughs> nigga, you invented the woo symbol. Yo, tell tell the internet so where they can forever. find you, man. Yo, yo, seriously, man, y'all need to give this nigga his flowers <laughs> while he's the, hit. But not just the woo symbol. Okay. After, after that, we're like, yo, all right now, make the jizzle G. You flipped it? Make the Method Man M. Did, wait, wait. Now who's who's? Well, I did, well, I, no, this no, is Method, wait. Who Method 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 did it? But we told him to turn it upside, upside down. down. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah, and I designed the um the characters for Jizza Liquid, Liquid Swords. Swords for the for the album cover. Wait, wait, wait. You did the album cover? Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I did wait, the you, I, you, I did you, the you did I did the, the gra- original designs, the but, but they, they brought in uh Cyril from uh Image Comics. Yeah, Image Comics, right? And, yeah. So and he, he basically uh, took the sketch of what you did. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, yeah, those are all my characters, and crazy. we kept, you know, from that, from that creation, you know what I mean. So that when he said RZA, Power, the Vine goes, we the, if you look on every back of every early Wu Tang records, you see our government names. We the executive producers, yes, right. you know what I mean. And and I'm the Abbott, of course. But each time there was time to do this, went right back to him. Yo, we need something for Raekwon. You know what I'm saying always keep going back to the same source because the God, his his. His mathematics, his his enlightener is like mm-hmm. one of my favorite people in the world. Mm-hmm. Infinite. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? He's and, almighty. You know, there's certain brothers that walk this New York City that's like, they uphold this city more than we could ever imagine. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean?
know what I mean? I know what you mean. Yeah, and 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 he's a student of one of those brothers. You know what I mean? I'm I'm a student of of the Jizza, who also respected his enlightener. That's how I met him. So it was it was a, it was a, it was a lot of fraternal energy there as well. But every time we wanted to get something else to represent the Wu, we turned the math. But now in the Wu Tang the saga continues. You look at the album cover. He actually went and got Gano. Mm -hmm. Respecting the same thing because right. anytime you see a Wu Tang piece in any of our videos, can it be so simple or mm -hmm. whatever? Gano did those, mm. and so this, so this, this, this energy that we got and that we tr trade back and forth is real. It's a real brotherhood. It's a real respect. It's a real having knowledge of self and that knowledge of our cipher. And you, and that's why I come. You, it, it keeps reappearing. You know, you turn the master killer. Um, you see, his is the M and the K, but it's still a mutation of the W. Mm -hmm. You God, he cut the cut it in half. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Still a something other day. Yeah, how was you God, man? I fucks with so, you God. Yeah, I, I saw him. We saw him in Chicago on uh, what that was a twenty yeah, about three weeks ago at yeah. YFS. Yeah, we had a great night, man. Yeah. We uh we popped the bottle that Matter night. Matter of fact, it was the night of the fight. Yeah, the night yeah, of that. We went uh, and saw the fight. Oh, oh, imagine this, yo, Chicago, mm -hmm. Shot Town. What up? The whole Wu Tang. Watching Camel, uh, Canelo, 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 yeah. Canelo and, and, uh, Triple and Triple G mm -hmm. at a sports bar. <laughs> if you was in there, if you turn to the left, you see, oh, there go Wilson and Ghost in there. You turn over there, oh, there go Meth and Red. Oh, there go you guys. Right there. Oh, there go Captain. Oh, they sprinkled all out. The whole place lit, lit up and hard body. Yeah, it was you know what I mean? That it, night. It, was, it was a great night right there. And that was, you know, so we all, we all, that's the last time we all saw each other was at that fight. We had a concert first. And after the concert, we went straight to to watch the fight. And they had this beautiful location for us in Chi-Town. And it was a great night. That's crazy. Yo, one more thing about the, the symbol. We just recently had the um, benefit of, of interviewing um, um, Steve Rifkin. Mm -hmm. And actually, Steve was like, yo, you taught him so much. Like, out of everybody, like, you and Prodigy, like, really taught him Respect. so much about the game and the culture. But he was saying that at one point, man, the, the, the symbol was so powerful that y'all had Warner Brothers, DC Comics, Batman, try to sue y'all because they were like, no, y'all y'all trying to etch the Batman <laughs> single out the way. Do you remember that? Y'all remember that? That was, now that probably was executive talk. Yeah. That's that. That's before, yeah, he was like, yo. No, no, I'm saying, no, no. That, on, on his? That happened. That don't yeah. be just. Yeah. But Steve is up in the top of the building. Yes. Yeah. So he had to handle that at the top yeah, of the building. He said he had to back down Batman. Wow. Off the woo symbol. That's, that's crazy, crazy B. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now, now, Rizzo, we've always spoken to you about, you know what I'm saying, the vision that you had and how you saw this thing, man. But once again, man, you, mathematics, man, you you met genius. You met Jizz when he was genius back in 1990, before this whole thing. Yeah. Was well, I actually knew Rizzo first. Okay. But but yeah, I knew, I knew, see, see, now Jizza, like, um, I knew Jizza because he lived in South, I'm from Southside Queens. So at one point, Jizza lived in Southside Queens and his family lived out there. But um, I didn't meet Jizza until around that time. Um, but I knew of him. He, you know, in, in the I mean, desert. He was a genius. In the, yeah, they called the, yeah, like he knew Infinite Mind Lightner. He knew, and I knew his family. I knew Life, uh, Shah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I knew. So, um, but I always heard the great, the great AJ. You know what I mean? Like, a lot yo, of justice. yeah, yo, when it come to lyrics, yo, you know, it was the great AJ. So it, it was like when I met him. And, and Infinite was the one who put us together. So when you meet him, though, yeah. he's doing Cold Chilling records. Yeah. He's doing, um, what's his name? Father MC records. Mm. You know what I'm saying? He's doing like these right. pop wow. records. He did one. He pop did, yeah, 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 only one pop yeah, record. And this, and this was before, the album, album, and this was before yeah. the album came out. Right, okay. Listen, you know, he did a whole album first. Yes. And they told him. I bought need, that album. No, no so, so, so that's what happened. So I don't know if this still happened in music. He did the whole album, Words from a Genius. Then they told him, yeah, we need a... We need a uh, pop song. Mm. He did "Come Do Me" last. Mm. And that was like the it. last song. If he if he would have put out "Life of a Drug Dealer" first, drama or something like that. Remember "Life of a Drug Dealer"? Mm -hmm. There's a yeah. rumor that oh, an old lady, an old lady heard a hitman hiring a, a oh yeah hit, a kingpin hiring a hitman, hit man, the murder federal prosecuting drug dealing witness. But that's, that's how it is in the business, and I'm in it physically gaining power, constantly counting up cash by the hour. And it feels good to get paid, regardless of how many victims get slayed. Accomplices of mine drop like flies. But in this game, every day somebody dies, whether shot in the body 
or cyanide in your Bacardi because mm. it's a cutthroat party. Now it's, it's up to me to retaliate. And if I do, I increase the murder rate. I move it, it, on those yeah, that, who double cross. I move on those who double cross, set, set them up, up and they suffer the loss of he or she who was on the agenda. Most likely a family member. Informants, rather talent telling snakes. Get shot up, brutalized, and thrown in lakes. Found the, the um, parts found of the bodies found, found days, days later. later. The other half was done by an amputator. I'm, I'm undefeated in plenty, plenty fights. fights. My enemies get beaten with many stripes. I shoot up funerals. Firebomb wakes. Vehicular homicides, whatever it takes. Just to control my I got to go back to that record. I set your own mother on fire. Yo, you know what? That's, <laughs> too, that's too bright. That was too bright. Hey, yo, no, son. No, 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 no. That it was, was like, Joseph, no, no, can no, you no. please I, go do Come Do Me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that was cool. Oh, no, oh, no. Nah, my shit was hanging on, um, was stay out of bars. Listen, oh, he's, like, listen. he's like, hanging okay, out in bars can become no joke. When you start to mix in gin, rum, Bacardi, and Coke, mm. or Martini and Rossi, Asti, Spumantes, even 40s being shared throughout the posse. <laughs> jukebox is slamming throughout the... Um, that jukebox right is singing throughout the... Uh, right room with the melody of a soft Barry White I tune. tune. I sit back like I got it made in the shade, holding my dick as I scream to the barmaid. Right. Excuse me, miss. All right, here I come. Can I help you? Yeah. yeah. A double, double shot, shot of rum. Woo, the rock, rock, sir. Mm -mm, not, not at, at all. all. Who the fuck needs ice inside of burning alcohol? I reach in my pocket to tip the whore, but I'm clumsy. My chain starts falling on the floor. Mm. I play macho and say, leave it for the sweeper. Beep, 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 my fucking beeper. I start stumbling to the phone booth, revealing all symptoms of A drinking, drinking 90, 90 proof. proof. Oh, damn. Yo, yo, what's wrong with Jizzle, uh, man? Like, what's wrong with his pen game? Oh, the First of all, what the, what the fuck is wrong with his pen yo. game, man? Even the joints that motherfuckers never heard. I was telling Steve when we interviewed him. Yeah. I was like, yo, one of the best diss records I ever heard oh, yeah, was yeah. when Jizzle went at 50. Oh, and and well, Paper Planes, right? Yeah. Yo, listen, Internet, go back. Look on YouTube. Look at Listen to Paper Planes and just tell me, like, yeah, he wasn't on the same level. That that elevated level, you know, on a pop status that that Fifty Cent was, but there was no way Fifty could have responded to that. Like, so he cool. dissected Fifty on that record. No, it's so cool. Uh, we are uh, because we love Fifty. You know, we you know that. Of course. And Fifty and Jezza ran into each other. Um, we all, we all, we always we we we, we doing shows. We we've been doing shows together yeah. actually. And and, and Fifty so Jezza, nah, I still ain't disciple all your shit yet. <laughs> <laughs> so I, still ain't, so I still ain't a disciple all your shit yet. <laughs> you know what I mean? But but going back, man, to, to first and foremost, all them dirty ass, grimy ass rhymes y'all spit was two way ahead of the time because y'all is the niggas that really dirtied up the game. Like Literally. seriously, when I first right. heard y'all niggas, I was like, these niggas is dirty. This is like that 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 dirty nigga on Charlie Brown. Like these niggas is dirty. <laughs> and seriously, Big about pen. internet. Yeah. If y'all wasn't alive back then or wasn't around, like you know what I'm saying, not saying that hip hop was sweet. You know what I'm saying? But there was a different yeah, that was a different Ethic. level of grind. And then when the woo came, yeah. you could smell these niggas on the arms. And it wasn't one. <laughs> these niggas two. came in with shit stains. And there's no, even, there's no disrespect. Y'all niggas came in with that shit. <laughs> but going back to when you when you're on, on tour with Cold Chillin and the Genius, and you hear, you know, Prince Rakim and the Genius talking about this whole new world. What are you thinking? Are you thinking that shit is real or these niggas is on some great dust? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I remember um you know, early when, when Rob was talking about the idea, and, and, and I remember Jesse was talking about it, and and I at, the, at that time I I, I haven't <laughs> met everybody, right. you know what I mean? It's like I remember I, like the first time I met Meth and um Deck was the, they was together. I was at the Guard Lab, and I remember he just play, played me Ice Cream Man, and mm. um, hey, mom throw down some money. That yeah. song never came out. The ice cream man is coming. DM, 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 Dick him danger. Here comes another Wu-Tang <laughs> headbanger straight from the panty handy man. Mep was on some shit. That was this, just, this was supposed yeah. to be for the first album? Yeah, it was just, no, it was just it's like this. neighborhood demos at that time. Yeah, he, you know he what was playing me some, 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 some crazy joints. So when they came walking in, and, and first thing Mep, he was like, yo, are you smoking? <laughs> the method man but but yeah so that was like I remember it, like when they left he was like yo that's our brother right there that was I was like word I said okay yeah son is dope so and then you know I met Ghost 
Do yep. do you know? I remember. Yeah, Ghost like, lived with me at that yeah, time. Yep, yep. Then you know, Ghost, I was, I was, Ghost. Ghost. How was living I with Ghost, man. Not to cut you off. Yeah. I was living with Ghost, man. And we was like brothers, yeah. yo. Whoa, shit, we changed T-shirts on the check. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Hey. Okay. okay. Wait. You know what I'm saying? Wait, I don't know. Can you I, decipher like a change? Yeah, change. I'm trying to figure it out. We change <laughs> T-shirts on the check. I'm trying to figure this she shit out. She had a different T-shirt and different experience with him. And probably with ghosts, allegedly. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry, bro. I don't know how he's talking about I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Internet's the cipher that. So. Yeah, but, but you know, and I remember when I first really heard Ray Kwan spit, because, mm. you know, I met Ray, of course, through the God, and um, I didn't know Ray was spitting like that until, like, um, you know, I heard, I heard, like I said, the original Queen, right. Dante and all that. I knew he was ill, but when we had the... Um, the cold chilling. Matter of fact, that was before we had the rehearsal to go on tour, uh-huh. and and cold chilling went in our uh, studio for brothers to rehearse at. And I remember Ray came, G rap. It, it was mad dudes there, but it's like nobody seemed like they wanted to get on the mic or nothing like that. I remember Ray got on the mic. I got on the turntables, started cutting some break beats, and Ray was going in. He was going in. That's why I was like, yo, Ray is ill. And I remember, <laughs> and I remember G Rap was there because G Rap was like, at that time, you know, the number one G Rap. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Already, already I mean, legendary. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Right. Like, like one of my favorite MCs to this day. Right. So, and, and I seen how he was knowledge and like, mm, like, yo. But then I knew, you know, from him what the guard was doing, I was like, yeah, it's, it's going to be something there. And then once I heard Protect Your Neck, I was like, oh, mm. yeah. Bum, bum, bum. Yo, man, I, I still say to this day, man, when y'all when y'all drop, I ain't even understand that album. Like, I just remember saying, "What, what the fuck?" Was that? Yo, did I, am I high? <laughs> I had to listen, no, I had to listen to the album five times, mm. and then I was like, "I got it." And I remember the first time y'all performed. I think it was in New York City. It was at the Sound Factory. And I don't recall, like, but oh. shit, I know we went. We used to, we went but back, the first it to me. time, like all the industry niggas was in there. I was like, "Yo, how many niggas?" Is in this true stage and they all rhyming <laughs> and we didn't even know y'all niggas then. It was right, like, it, right, it was right, so right, right. Complicated like, to see <laughs> like who. Oh, that's that. Yeah, he said that rhyme. Yo, man, like yo, congrats to y'all for for making that shit. Respect, respect, crazy yeah. man, and, and real. Yo, Riz, man, tell us about the the um your your new um fashion brand, man. Oh, thirty six. Well, thirty six Chambers ALC, right? It's also the company that's that's put the company that's putting this record out. Mm-hmm. Um, so, so so it's a multifaceted. Yeah. Company, tell us about that. So ALC, I, I coined that, a lifestyle company. Mm-hmm. And that's what it is. So we're dealing with music and fashion. We got clothing, you know, we try we clothing, jackets, you know, we vegan. So no animals is being hurt in our products. You yeah, know I, mean? I heard that this was a, a, a vegan kind of lifestyle brand. Like so no animals were harmed. Nah, so, we don't. so most most like like this sweater is, is Ralph. Is that wool? Yes, wool. Right, so so we wouldn't probably use wool, right? Unless we really had a chance to go see and make sure that the that the animals are being treated with respect, like like, like biblical right. biblical respect. You know what I mean? We actually discontinued wool because we we try wool jackets, but we come to find that almost eighty percent of the wool factories are torching these animals. You know what I mean? Mm. So I'm holding this. Um, That's dope. I'm holding this leather. No, this is not leather. But I'm this saying, is, this I'm is, holding this. It's leather. I'm holding this 36 chain. Yeah, it's leather. Leather. No, wallet. say, no, no, God. No, no, that's yours, come oh, back. Thank you. Yo, 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 you got to say. Woo! Thank you. <laughs> respect, God. But you got to say this word one time because it ain't leather. It's leather. 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 <laughs> what is yeah, vet- Like touch vegan. That, touch that, man. <laughs> Talk about because I was about to ask about the, the, the well, yeah so see, so so our idea is you know this this you know we have this wallet we have a set we have a lot of accessories of course and we did something with the Asian Art Museum where we got a chance to go down to San Francisco go into this museum and look at all the different arts from different dynasties of China and they gave us a chance to take that for inspiration so this wallet as you notice all these different seals on it mm-hmm. these are seals these are actual seals yeah and we actually so got a who in there. Yeah, exactly. We got a real artist to kind of draw the seals first, and then we use that to make our prints, and we pressed it on. And you'll see that on uh, on more things like our, this here shirt is an example of it. 
Uh, this is one of our jackets. Let me show you a jacket real quick. We got to get you one of these. I see the fabrics so, inside. I see the, I see the exactly. fabrics. Exactly. Now watch, what, watch when I open up this inside. It's, it's like, uh, you know, in Asian, in Asian, in, in, in Asian culture, right, sometimes you go through a small door to a big opening. So that's what this is. Okay. What? That's crazy. You got a Buddha in there? That's so fire. You know what I mean? And we so we keep our material like that. We we got another jacket that's coming out. We got another jacket that's coming out that has the Lotus Sutra mm-hmm. and the Heart Sutra. That's wisdom. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? St- written into the text and into the fabric of your garment. <laughs> you know what I mean? Now what's the inspiration for this, man? And and, and why the why the whole humanitarian approach to, to the fabrics, man? Well first, you know, what's thirty six chambers, you know, it means there's 36 ways to do things, right? Or, you know, we first bought our Wu-Tang and we called our album 36 Chambers. It was a reason why, you know, I decided to name it that. Um, first, re- first reason is that, you know, there's 108 pressure points on everybody's, on your physical body, right? But 36 of them are fatal. Mm. And there's 10 degrees between each point that's fatal. And then mean 10 points between? 10 degrees. Like, they measure it almost in an acupuncture way. There's a way you measure it. I love acupuncture. It. Okay, so there's 10 degrees Doctor between Shaw, each uh, uh, point that's to the next point of fatal. And so 10 times 36 is 360 degrees. That's that perfect circle. And that's where Wu-Tang became a perfect circle. So that's why we use 36 a lot. And well, the reason why I'm thinking of, the reason why I'm not thinking, the reason why I'm doing something that's more humanitarian and more conscious of the pain because nothing, bro. And I'm going to say this as a man. As a kid, I couldn't say this. I grew up on a farm. We would kill the pig, cook him, <laughs> eat him. That's that was fun. That's how we did it. Rinse and repeat. You know what I'm saying? The but one. there's nothing that don't want to live, bro. And the planet Earth has provided enough for everything to live, right? And even the one of the most worst insects you may dis disagree with, like a fly, water bug, right? Fuck that. Okay, a water bug. He's from the hood, yeah. but it wants to live. Yeah. You know what I mean? So if we in the same room, I, he, he's dead. He's dead. I know. <laughs> Even I, I know. I know. I know. I know but let me. I know. I, I, I do 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 what you do. Do what you do. You know what I mean? But check out a fly. You know how long a fly lives? Three days. And the party's over, no matter what. Now, if you catch him on the first day, you just took one third of that nigga, two thirds of that nigga. Like, <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I just got in <laughs> but but I'm just saying, just being conscious of that, and not having to do it. Like when it's, when it's time, you know, when, when you're at war, you're at war. But when you're at peace, I strive to be at peace in everything around me because peace is the absence of confusion. So our our brand uh, is conscious of how many animals suffer. You know, there's uh, how many billions. Let me. I got Mustafa Sheikh over here, uh, my partner. How many billion cows just to make leather profit? Le- leather pro- products. How many is? Give me a round of round, round the number. One point four billion. That's that's not animals that are killed for food and then they eat for the leather. One point four billion are just for. One point four billion a year. Yeah, I can't even think of the karmic fingerprint of mankind. Exactly. Because yo, that's a year, bro. Yeah, yeah. And then how many? How many? And how many about? Just give me a rough about how many when you put the food into it. Fifty billion cows, kid. Is dying every year to give us a burger. Now, the cow you eat eats grass. He's 1,500 pounds of 80% muscle just from eating grass, from eating vegetables. But they'll tell you that you need to eat him so you can live. That's how he's living. Nah, G. That's that's for kids. As a man, I'm not buying it. As a kid, yeah, I would go get me two McDonald's, double mm-hmm. cheeseburger with bacon, baby. Mm-hmm. As a kid, but as a man, I don't see it that way no more. So our brand is is striving to to bring awareness and to do just our part. Like you said, you know, there's only out of those fifty billion, one point four billion cows is for leather. Well, we may just save a dozen of them, but we with that. Mm. We with that cow. Your hands are clean. Yeah, we with that, and our hands are clean. Yo, how long you been vegan? No fish? I haven't had a piece of fish since 1997. How? How? Because that, 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 they brought it to me with the head on it one day. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Nigga put it in front of me with the head on it. I was like, yo, shit, this nigga looking at me. Yeah, he's, he's alive. Escaviche. <laughs> Escaviche was my, which used to be my favorite. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Same thing with chicken. One day I was eating chicken, my dude, 
and my teeth hit the bone, and my mind said, nigga, you eating a dead bird. Mm. And you from New York, nigga, all them pigeons? Mm. Well, <laughs> yo, and, and not just that. Y'all remember you saw more pigeons oh, when you was younger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But once they start opening up mama fried, nigga fried, uh, sweet fried, yeah, Obama nigga, fried, chicken, Obama. yo, pigeons, yo, you can't Trump find fried. you can't find a pigeon in New York. Mm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm serious. Bars. 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 <laughs> Bars. So you did it from a moral standpoint. From a consciousness. And, 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 and not a health standpoint. Nah, I was healthy. I'm healthy. I am healthy up for, for it though. Right. It actually, the health benefits. That's see, let me just say one thing before we go on a on a spiritual level. Allah is the master planner, right? And and he's already prescribed, man, a way to live already. And if you just follow the plan, even if you pray five times a day, bro, that means you will get to your knees, your floor, but your head will touch the floor, your arms will stretch out. Your blood will circulate better. Your, your, the weight of life will fall off your shoulder. Five times a day, you become more healthier just because of doing that. Even if you didn't know what you was doing. Some brothers can't touch their toes in their 40s, bro, mm. because they done stiffen up everything. You know what I mean? The father has already made plans for, for all of us. So, so I'm just being conscious enough to bear witness and, 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 and live it out to the best of my ability. And even knowing that, you know, like I said, the cow who's eating the grass or, or all the vegetables that every animal eat is making them stronger of, 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 of knowing that, you know, keeping myself at peace and, and not causing friction with other uh, humans. There's no need for that, bro. It's like, uh, and also not keeping myself, and I would say, doing my best to stay away from what we call an evil atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Now, what I mean by that is this. There's a beautiful verse in the Holy Quran, right? And I know that sometimes we look at, um, we might as well get, we hear it, so I'm going, all right? We hear man. All right. We already so I know sometimes we sit, they, they, you know, they make it seem like uh that you know that Islam is a a religion of terrorists and 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 all that, but the word Islam means peace. So even if a guy is a terrorist, he's not Islam because he's not dealing with peace. Not he could say what he want to say. He is. Mm -hmm. He could he could do a Kylie Jenner, but he's still a man, kid. You ain't fooling me with that. You could feel how you want to feel. Feel how you want to feel. Do what you want to do. You have your prerogative. Right. But in the end of the day, it, it, it's not the definition of what it is. So Islam means peace. And the book that, that they gave us was the Holy Quran. Because the people who had to get that book, they wasn't living where the Bible was at. But they had to get a message also. So when they got that message, it helped them to deal with political situations, marital situations, uh it breaks down even if you die you know your son will get this and your second you know it's it's, a, it's just calculated life for man okay and 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 inside of it there's a there's a lesson that says uh um when you pass away and you are facing the father and you say yo he, he's checking your record you go yeah they go well why do you do that evil thing you did you know whether say you know whether they say you ate this you right. did this right. you go well but that's how my country was I lived in a place like that. Yeah, it was a custom. Yeah. And a law. He gonna say, I made this planet big enough, bro. You could have just moved. Mm. You don't have to stay here. So even Prophet Muhammad, who who lived in Mecca with his family, his own family wanted to kill him. <clears throat> now he could have stayed there and just say, I live ain't going nowhere. Nah, gee, he got up and left. And when he went to Medina, they built him a beautiful house, took care of him and everybody. He came back 10 years later and just took over Mecca. So sometimes, yo, gee, it's just like me being on Staten Island, you know what I mean? I used to leave and go to the Bronx for hip-hop. I, I you'll, you'll see me in Queens, you know what I mean? Some people, we get stuck, you know? I remember some of our moms didn't want to leave. Well, even when we made it, some of our mothers didn't want to leave. Mm. They didn't know nothing, you know what I mean? Nah, gee, it's, it's, it's prescriptions. The Bible is full of prescriptions, yo. Jesus taught us what to do. Prophet Muhammad taught us what to do for the for, for my Indian brothers. Krishna taught us what to do, yo. They lived, and walked, talked, and gave us examples. And we gotta be wise enough to to to, to take heed. You know, Krishna. Let's give one, one more example. You know, you know, uh, you know. Through through his teachings came a man named Bodhidharma, what we call Dhamma. Okay, the father of Shaolin Kung Fu. He was a 
uh, uh, a meat eater as well at the time, a prince born rich. And one day a wise man had visited him and, and asked him, what's the brightest light in the, in the universe? And he said, the light of wisdom. He said, ah, your wisdom, you're pretty good. And then he sat down and for dinner and he started eating a piece of meat. Mm-hmm. And he t- and, 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 and while he ate the meat, the teacher just ate a leaf. Mm-hmm. But the teacher was cock diesel, you know, looking at everything. Look, and he asked him, uh, why would you eat dead flesh? Basically, because your body is alive. Why would you put death into your, phys- into your living body? And he said, uh, I believe that everything with his back to the sun can be eaten. And as soon as he said that, his servant came in who was a hunchback nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Big back. He was like, eat him. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? And it, and it just it hit his mind. You know what I mean? So, so the lesson for us is that, yo, that there's a proper way. Positive education always correct errors. If you know. Peace. Yeah. For everybody out there, check out the show on Netflix. What's the new show that they, they got? It's called uh, What the Health. Yeah, yeah health heard about is, that. Is, yeah. Let's check it out, yo. Because that dude ain't talking no spirituality, no religion, no nothing. He just went and did the knowledge lo- logic and logistically and even found out that what we put in our bodies, like Elijah Muhammad said back in uh, the 50s, he wrote a book, How to Eat to Live. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Dr. CB, who, mm-hmm. yeah, you know I mean? who took it to the next level. Mm-hmm. Yo, you know, if you want to preserve yourself, it definitely starts with your food and water. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that food and water is physical, but also it's mental and it's spiritual. I appreciate that, man. Yo, yo Matthew, you, you, you vegan also? Yeah, I'm vegan too. How long? I've been vegan. Next year will be 10 years. I've 10 been, years? Yeah, I've been vegetarian 20 years as well. Congratulations, man. Yeah. You know, the last person that we had on the show that talked about that was Russell. And, and what impressed me most about Russell was... To me, it was, you know, how you convinced me and how Russell convinced me, it wasn't from the health perspective. They, they could beat you over the head with the health perspective, right. but it was more the karmic. It's like, yo, what kind of footprint do you want to leave spiritually? Right. I'm saying that. I mean, even when KRS was saying it back in the day about Beef, how, right? you, how, you, how you incorporate the fear and the doubt oh, yeah. and all of that of the animal. Yo, we, yo, thank you. Respect, Appreciate that. Respect. So, yo. So you going to... You, you, Come on, your business, the, man. I'm asking you, are you going to venture? We've had conversations. I mean, you already, that. I got, I got, I got, I, I'm going through some health issues right now. No, no, I'm just saying, right. So, but, so, you know what I'm but, saying? But it's, it's the common thing about the, the whole vegetarian thing. It's just. It's, you know what it is with me? It's the awareness. It's like, right, it's, it's just it's, like, I know at a certain point, I got to stop the bullshit. Right. It doesn't matter when. I mean, you embrace it. You would embrace it. I mean, I embrace it when, like when Russell was on the show. Two years ago, I was I was vegetarian <laughs> for two months. Yeah. Like I was like, I'm not eating nothing. And one day, I smoked a little, a, a little blunt <laughs> and was at the at the at the trap house party. Yeah. And, and, and Boston, chicken I wings like, came out. They got jerk chicken. Chicken, chicken out. wings, nigga. Like, ah. No chicken wings and to get I, you I going. Fooled myself. Jerk. I was like, yo, I'm gonna take one bite of this jerk, jerk. chicken. Oh, and I'm gonna come no. back to this shit. No. I'm gonna come back to the plan tomorrow. Two years later, yeah, here my fat ass is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But nah. Yeah, that, Joe Chicken, that's a tough one to beat. Yo, yeah. B. You know, you know, ever get no cravings, B? Nah. Ever? No. Math, you nah. ever? Never. Yo, the flavor is not in the dead animal. Right. The not, flavor's in the flavor, right? Yeah, the flavor's in the flavor, yeah. man, bro. What do you say to people? You know what I'm saying? What do you say to people? Because I hear a lot of people that have decided to go uh, vegan. And then they get sick. Like, what are they doing wrong? They're not eating properly. What it's, like, it's still a proper way to eat because right. you got to get your, your like, minerals. It's like the, the most co- misconception people have is protein. Like, where you going? You get your most protein as a vegan because you're going to get it from from, your, from beans. You're going to get it from tomatoes. You're going to get it from tomatoes? asparagus. Yeah, you're going to get you're going to get protein. And you're going to get more protein per gram. From from those than you do from than uh, than from meat. beef or any meat, so but then it's things like iron you know, that you have to you know, um, yeah. but you get iron if you eat like spinach, spinach exactly, you know. Um, um, so if I don't want to read anything tonight, and for the next week I just want to eat vegan, what's the five things I need to eat? Well, you got to have a to complete. Well, you have well to balance. balance. I mean, you, yeah. I, I mean, um, what's a well I, I balance? Let's just take a black diet, yo. Just get some beans, some rice, and some fresh vegetables. Two, two, put two servings of vegetables on it. If you need something a little sweet, get you some yams. Mm. You know what I mean? You so can, y'all don't eat sugar either. I'm saying I don't eat a lot of sugar, but I'm, I'm just saying if you if you want to add sugar. some yams, yams is beautiful for the body. 
Yeah. Avocado. Oh. Avocado is the oh. only thing that builds brain cells. Mm. It's one of one of the. It builds more brain cells, omega threes, than fish. Mm. Okay, and of course, in in all in, in 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 different almonds and nuts and st- things of that nature. But if you just get you some some black beans, some rice. Some kale cooked up a little bit. Mm. Throw some onions up in, the, in, that, in that baby, yo. You know what I mean? If you want to go a little heavier on it, just th- throw some potatoes or sweet potatoes in that. Yo, you're going to be feeling good. You, you can't tell me that you never had a veggie Jamaican roti, my dude. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Bong, bong. Of course. Two of those, you're going to bed. I, I, the other day, I was at Whole Foods <laughs> and had the veggie bloody... Burger. Oh, the beyond beyond meat. Yeah, beyond meat. That shit was delicious. Yeah, exactly. I mean, That's about to say. If you and if you do have cravings for meat, they got they got things that you can get yeah. that taste. You can even make stuff that tastes like. I meat. had a uh, curried uh, jackfruit. Right. Yeah, jackfruit. jackfruit today. That was I'm a tough really one. Yeah, jackfruit. Yeah, jackfruit. Yeah, jackfruit is tough. But, yeah. That's when, a tough when one. They made it. It was it, looked, it was like stew chicken. Like yeah, it's okay. Chicken. It's I'm tough. Like, right. And it, it almost looked like it too, but. You know, it's a quiet taste, but but you got you got products like it's a, it's a company called Gardein. They got some. some I like Gardein. Yeah, they got some, yeah. some good. Just wash the sodium a little bit. That's only yeah, that's that's the cash twenty two would be yeah. the sodium. And I heard the soy ain't ain't that yeah. proper either for you. If it, definitely if it's GMO, yeah. you know what yeah, I mean. GMO, if, if, you, if you get regular soy, you could you could you could party with that. But I just want to say when somebody gets sick, like food, like anything, it's called food. our comp- comp- country. Has the Food and Drug Administration, which is which is crazy. That means both of them are the addiction. So your body definitely going to go through withdrawal when you stop eating like that. Like that, there's a chance that you may get sick. There's a chance that you're going to have to go through a few days of uh, of of uh, yeah. They call it when they, when a dude got to get off the heroin. They go through uh, yeah. You got to go, you're going to go through withdrawal. But um, see, I don't think it happened. With, with, it didn't happen because you you you, you yeah, stopped pork at eighty four. Yeah, so I stopped beef in '92. Yeah, so, so it's, and yeah, a, I, I would right. say a progress is it wasn't overnight for me. Right, right. Yeah. You know, what I mean, it started pork, of course, at the age of 11. We got knowledge of ourselves. You couldn't eat no swan. Uh, beef, probably around 1920. Chicken around uh, so 1920. Chi- no, 1920 years old. Oh, 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 oh. but chicken. I t- I kept turkey and chicken all the way until I finished liquid swords. Mm. Liquid, Liquid Swords is a turkey burger mm-hmm. album. Mm. <laughs> you know, and turkey pastrami. But then after that, uh, that was, and that was what, 95 on Liquid Swords? Yeah, 95. And then 97 is when I stopped the fish. And yeah. fish was the hardest because fish is like a family tradition. Mm-hmm. Fish fry? Oh, you know that God. go, kid. You know how that go, kid. Exactly. You, you might not, look, if you're going to hold on to anything. Hold on to the fish. If you can't let go. You know what I mean? Yeah, that'll give you still 15 more years yeah, back. I appreciate that, man. You know what I mean? Yo, tell us about this. Uh, this new movie, man, um, Love Beats Rhymes. That that you. This is yeah. your second directorial. Yep, my yep, my, my my actually my, my second for a studio. Let's okay, say. so yeah, I'm very very proud of it, yo. Very proud of it. Uh, start, it's, it's starring Azalea Star Banks. Azalea Banks, Jill Common, Scott, yep, and yep, Common. Yep. Saw the trailer. Oh, respect. Tell, respect. tell us about it, man. It comes out in December, right? December second. Yeah, yeah. Uh, on, on on the big screens. Big screens. Um, big. We do big screens. We do D O V O D. I mean, you could you could go to the movie theater and you also could get it that day okay. at home if you okay. want to sit at home. Um, and this is a different type of movie. Yeah. From 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 what I would expect <laughs> from you, man. Because but that's what I wanted to do. Yeah. From the man with the iron fist. Yeah. To this, this is more like a hip hop, yeah. like MC, like a woman MC. Yeah. Struggle. Kind of yeah. like, tell us about it, man. If I could relate it to my own career, remember that song, All I Need by Meth and Mary? Mm-hmm. This is my All I Need. Okay. All right, as a producer. Awesome. And, and, and it follows a girl named Coco, played is, by Azalea yeah, Banks, right. who, who is trying to break into the, to the business. Uh, and she, uh, her, her moms want her to go to college. You know what I mean? But she don't want to go back to school because she wants to pursue her career. Her passion. You know what I mean? But her mom's just like, yo, that's not an option. And so she goes back to college, and uh, I guess she thinks she's going to get an easy class by taking a poetry class. But when she gets in that class, and the teacher is Jill Scott, <laughs> and they get into an argument, uh, it's hip-hop poetry. It's kind of cool what happens, too, because... Uh, I love the scene with, that Azalea does. So they, they make everybody in the class say a poem. And then she gets up and she says, I start to think. And then I sink into the paper like, like I was ink. ink. And they're like, nah, that ain't no poem. <laughs> She's like, what? That's a rap. And that becomes this whole big debate. 
You know what I mean? So it's looking at it from an academic way. It's hip hop poetry. Mm. And through that journey that she well, goes through. Well, hip hop poetry. Yes, man. To me, I would say yes. Uh, academically, somebody may say no. You know what I mean? Because poetry has their certain rules and regulations. But um, I would say yes. And through her journey, she discovers not only uh, a girl trying to figure out how to be a lady. She also, I think, becomes a woman in, mm-hmm. in this journey of the film. How was it working with Azalea, man? Because Azalea keep that that cloud with her, man. That that cloud of controversy. How was it working with her, man? She 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 nailed it. Right. She showed up every day. She she did her part. She she she's a natural actress. I think I think I think that she could be a a, a movie star. Mm. You know what I mean? She just go ahead and focus on it because she was so natural. It's not easy to get in front of. 50 people with lights and cameras and, 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 and say what you got to say, memorize it or drop a tear or, or get Have angry. a sex scene or whatever. Yeah, it's not easy. And she handled it like a champ. So, so, I, so I think she has a great career in it. If she was to pursue that, I think she'd be successful. And, and regardless of all the controversy you hear, you hear about her, if, I will honestly say that for those days when we made that film, she was a total professional, and we knocked it. That's why. That's why we have a film. Mm. You can't get a film bullshitting, bro. You know what I mean? And she knocked it out. And uh, I would advise, you know, somebody saw the film early. We had we had an early screening, uh, and somebody came to me and said, "Yo, wow, you put a black chocolate girl as Proxy the lead mm-hmm. as the lead you of, a, of a studio you picture in Hollywood." Yeah. But um, she was the girl. She was Coco. She was the girl we needed for that role, and she delivered it. That's dope, man. That's dope. Um, your impact. You know what I'm saying? Your universal impact. When you hear somebody like um, Kanye West say that, you know what I'm saying? He wouldn't be where it is without the Wu. When you hear somebody like Drake do a record like Wu-Tang forever, man, what does that feel like, man? It feels great, man. It's, uh, yeah. it's nothing like... Uh, your peers, you know, giving you respect. And it's nothing like when a young person discovers discovers what you did. You know what I mean? It's like, think of us looking at, you know, I'm going to use Isaac Hayes as an example because I'm such a fan of his music. Me and Dirty would drive down to Ohio from New York, which is blasting Isaac Hayes, the long version. Mm-hmm. By the time I get to Phoenix, mm-hmm. walk on by, I'm talking about walk the 15-minute wow. versions. You know what I mean? So much so time I get the Phoenix is like 13 too, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm saying, yeah, I'm talking about the long versions. Yeah, yeah, the look it. of love, the oh, long yes. versions. <laughs> right? Fall on, you know, but then I got a chance to meet him. Mm. How was that? It was a blessing. You know what I mean? He actually, we spent three years as tight friends and he mentored me and taught me things and told me things to watch out for. And some things I couldn't avoid. Some things he told me that happened to him happened to me. Like what can you avoid? He said, yo, he had a label that was worth about $18 million, and they zeroed him out. You know what I mean? And I had a label that was worth $30 million, and mm-hmm. they zeroed me out. Mm-hmm. Okay? And and how to avoid it is part of a system. You know what I mean? It's not the people that work there. It's just, yo, G, it's Monopoly. The game is over. The money go back in the box, mm-hmm. kid. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And you got to understand that. You know what I mean? And how do you beat that? I don't know who beats it. You know what I mean? But I thought I was going to beat it. I was like, well, that ain't going to happen to me. Whoosh. So at the same time, also, he told me you're going to grow musically. You're going to start understanding the chord of yourself. And it came out that the A minor, if you listen to a lot of woo, you'll find that A minor, C minor popping up. Yo, I'm in a minor key. You know what I mean? That's where I'm at with it. Um and uh, and also he was also uh, vegetarian, you know what I mean? Early on, you know he's earlier than us. He he had the cayenne pepper, uh, lemon ginger drinks before you could buy them. The cleanses. He was already mm-hmm. doing that, so it was great for me to spend time with him. And the point I'm making by telling you all that is that is that it's a it's wise for the youth. To build with the OGs. Of course, it's so necessary. You know, Quincy Jones. And it, it's so necessary for the OGs. To build with the to youth. To build with the yeah. youth. And they and they got to, we got to never let that bridge go. A lot of us are single parents. 
for, I mean, put the products of single parents without fathers. So your, the father figure sometimes become the artist or the actor or the sports figure. You know what I mean? And when somebody become like, when you look at some of the great boxers that come to the fights and they sit in the side while the young boxers fight, you know, you see Jordan may show up at the All Star game or, 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 or Russell or one of, one of, the, or Kareem and them. Mm-hmm. That's, that's, it's supposed to be that. Mm-hmm. But the blessing of it for them, the joy of it is when, the young brother go, yo, yeah, I respect what he did too. You know what I mean? Because none of us is here without the sacrifice of somebody else. Of course. You know what I mean? So I appreciate, you know, when Ye was giving me points and saying Wu-Tang, I appreciate Drake saying Wu-Tang. I appreciate the new Migos song off the Khaled album. Mm-hmm. They bigged up Wu-Tang, Little Uzi Vert, you know what I mean? Who I wouldn't expect as aware of Wu. It's like, yo, this click is like Wu-Tang, yo. They be, and I respect that. Wow. Because, uh, he said it so, um, yeah. yeah, I respect that, yo. So, um, and at the same time, guess what? I'm a fan of theirs. That's dope. Because I'm a DJ. So That's dope. I'm in my crib. My bitch is bad and bougie. Bad and bougie. I'm just, I'm in there doing it too. Who would you like to work with, man? Um, Rap wise. I'm, 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 yo, like, I'm, I'm an executive producer, right? So I'm EPing it, but I, I think some of these MCs would do themselves a great service to come grab some mathematic beats mm. right now. Man, who you want to work with, man? Uh, I'm ready to work with anybody, mm. listen, as long as we're going to make some good music. There you There's go. a lot of dudes I like, though, like we were saying, like, um, um, you know, Conway, West Side Gun, and mm. is dope. Um, you know, um, it's a lot of dope dudes out there. It's like, um, man, I, I just had a whole bunch. I can't even. You had your boy, yeah. like, like, uh, Vic? Oh, yeah, I like Vic Mintz. Vic Mintz, yeah. Dope. Yeah, J. Cole, dope. Mm-hmm. You know, Kendrick, dope. Um, I heard this other kid the other day, Lute, um, L-U-T-E. He was, I, I just heard him, um, I think, you know, was that I, I was driving? I think it was Rosenberg or something like late. He was, mm. I heard him killing it. Um, yeah, but it's, it's a lot of dope cats out there. But, That's know, dope, I mean, man. Yeah. So last question, man. And uh, I, you know, I don't think we asked. Did we ask was it that before? I don't think we did it. But uh, if we if we did, we could always revisit. That's a, um, a deep one. No, it's not that deep. I asked everybody. If this is the last question. I'm gonna ask both of y'all, man. Top five MCs. Ooh. Do I include my family or? I mean. I mean, it's, it's your it's time. It's, it's all you know. All right, it's it's all it's all subjective, and and and, and it is all subjective. Like I say to the people that's on the show, and I, the, like I say to everybody that's on the show, nobody judges you. Right, and, sure. and it's your it's your personal favorite. So I had joint, somebody yeah. tell me one of their top files is Big Bang Hank. From the Sugar Hill Gang, hey. I was like, "Oh, I, hey, 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 big bang, baby." I mean, he he set it off. No, I, look, I, look, I don't look. I'll be Grandmaster Kaz then, right? Yeah, so I mean, cr- Grandmaster. <laughs> I mean, yeah, if he voted, I mean, exactly. That used to be my favorite MC yeah, back in yeah, the day. Yeah, I mean, Grandmaster what? Kaz, Mo D, Melly Mel. What? Those was like my. That's the triumvirate. Man. Well, I'm gonna yeah. take I'm gonna take this moment, yes, sir. Mm. Okay, <laughs> to use what I think the top five MCs in content and substance. Okay, I'm going to say the jizzer. Mm-hmm. I never heard nobody ever put words together in deep meanings he's, like He's him. not human with the words. Okay, um, I'm going to step away from Wu, and I'm going to give Rakim mm-hmm. and Cool G in there. Mm-hmm. But I'm going to come back to Wu and go ghost. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I don't think nobody never took us like that. T- tell us, I mean, and, and I'm, a, I'm a big ghost fan. What? What is it about ghosts? Because ghosts put you at the scene of the crime. Call the ambulance. Jamie got shot. But with the Kimmy, don't go, son. You my motherfucking heart. Just think about Keebler. The young God needs you. The young God needs you. She be three in January. Like, like yo, he's, he's talking to a man dying. And you there with him. You know what I mean? In the last breaths. Here come his mom's in a nightgown, nigga. And he rapping with the urgency. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? She so. Was on. 911, damn low battery. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, yo, son. You know what I mean? Pitch you in this. And then I'm going to give myself number mm. five. You Tell know why I mean? yourself? Tell us about why yourself. Because I don't think I nobody like has the mo- have ever pit. I'm the most unorthodox MC to ever touch the mic. Mm-hmm. And I also think the content of information stuffed inside a Rizaram you can get from nowhere else. I stuff content. If you take my lyric, you mostly if you are wise, take my lyrics and add water to them, and you'll really see what it is. Mm. 
I appreciate that. Yo, I would I just you just hit me. I would love to hear you work with Doom. Mm. Oh, I love Doom. That's, that's my dude. Yeah, yeah, Doom. Too. Yo, man, what's your, what's your and that's a great top five, so bum, bum. um top five. Okay, um I'm I'm gonna try to go top five and and keep my brothers out of it because I don't think nobody's beating my brothers. Period. Right. So I'm gonna go um I'm gonna go. I'm gonna take it to Queens, of course. Nas, mm-hmm. right? I'm gonna stay in Queens with G Rap, mm-hmm. right? Um, J, mm. Big L, mm. Big L was dope. That's a good one. Yeah. Then number five, I gotta go Biggie. Yes, I gotta go Biggie. I'm not even mad at that list. That's man. a beautiful list. Yeah, that's a great list. Listen. RZA, Mathematics, thank you for coming on the Combat Jack Show. Wu-Tang, yes, the saga continues in stores. The li- in stores. Get that. The shit is dope. Thank it's got you, everybody bro. on it. <laughs> that shit, like, you called it a masterpiece. Why did you call it a masterpiece, sir, RZA? Because the man delivered a masterpiece. There you go. Say no more. <laughs> Once again, man, continue success, thank continue you, wins. King, yes, yes, what's yes, up, yes, sir? Yes, yes. King. 36 Chambers. 36 Chambers. Yo, this, this, this wallet is fly as shit, though. You got another one over there nah, for, nah. for math? For the fact that this is, um, I like the fact that you're pushing the, the, Consciousness. the, the non, you know, brutal killings of animals to make your products and, you, and give it a, give it to the people. Keep man. building. Yeah. Yo, seven years. Combat Jack keep show. Going, seven more. Exactly. In fact, you know what you're going to do. You're going to take it to a whole nother level in a whole bigger studio. And yes, all sir. That. Yes, sir. So, you know you had it. Internet, you know what it is, man. Dream those dreams and then man up. Woman up and live those dreams because a life without dreams is black and white and the universe flows in technicolor and surround sound. Boom. Another one in the can. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Yo, we're just going to um, take some pictures out in the lobby. Okay. Yeah, that was dope, man. Yep. There's a lot of wisdom in that. A lot of bars. This episode of the Combat Jack Show is produced by Jonathan Mena, executive produced by A. King, and this is an official Loudspeakers Network production. No. <laughs> I'm, dead. I'm really mad y'all made me do that. I'm so mad right now. <laughs> Please don't post that anywhere. <laughs> I'm so mad at y'all. <laughs> bop, bop, bop.